but you know maybe Mondays are the worst days for you. Well, don't say I'm gonna exercise on Monday because those are the worst days. So the time of day is important, the day of the week is important. And that's not only true with exercise, but any activity you're doing. If you know you have a lot of laundry to do and you know, again, three o'clock is the worst time of the day for you, then don't try to do your laundry at three o'clock because again, you're gonna go back down into that sinking feeling. So exercise is that same way, you know, make it specific as you can to yourself. That's the only thing, make it as specific as you can. The time of day, the activity, not everybody is the same. So you want exercise to be specific to you. So hopefully um, what we're gonna do today is gonna be a little bit of a kickboxing routine. So don't get scared by that. Most people are scared off, but it's gonna be really, really easy. You won't need any equipment today. We're just gonna use our bodies. Um, so it's going to be mainly cardio, just kind of getting us moving. A question that sometimes is, you know, strength training is important. So if you know, if you have, you know, hand weights or something at home that you can do, um, you know, simple bicep curls or anything like that with, even if you don't have um, any strength training equipment at home, you can use, you know, cans of soup, you can use water jugs, anything, you know, to kind of keep that strength going. Um, if you have any questions at the end specifically, um, I think we're going to have a little question and answer period. So, you know, just email those questions to me. So when you're doing exercise, what we're going to do today is cardio is important, strength importing is important, and flexibility. We're going to do a little bit of stretching at the end. So all those three things are important when it comes to exercise. So um, again, if you have any questions about exercise, kind of what I talked about, you know, mainly managing fatigue, make sure you submit those questions because we're going to be um, going through those at the end. So now we'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you have water, that'll be great. You know, get some water by you. You'll need a small area. I'm just going to back up here a little bit, but just a small area. We won't be utilizing a lot of space. Again, it's going to be a cardio routine just to kind of get our heart rates going. If you don't feel comfortable, then you can sit the exercises out. Remember that one to 10 scale that I talked about. So, you know, if anytime you become maybe a seven or eight, then take a little break, grab some water, make sure you have some sturdy shoes on. Uh, you don't want to do these exercises barefoot. Um, and also make sure you have just a little bit of area. If you need a chair, make sure you have a chair nearby. That way you can sit in it. Um, so I hope everybody's ready to have some fun and exercise. Yay. <laughs> I know I am. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take off my bag. I need a little bit maybe um, warm up sweaty. So uh, always important to breathe when you exercise. So when we're doing these exercises, please do not hold your breath. I'll remind you of that to breathe. I'm gonna start just a little bit of music just so we can have a little beat. So remember, breathing in and out. I'm gonna bring this back just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that music. I don't want it too loud. All right, so I'm backing up so everybody can see me. I'm marching, moving. Good, breathing in and out. Good job. All right, so we're just going to start with a nice and easy march and get those arms moving. Now, if you can't go the same pace as me, that's okay. You can always remember, I always say, work at your own pace. This is your workout. I'm just a tour guide, okay? All right, let's take it wide. Take it wide. Draw that belly button into the spine. Shoulders down, back straight. Good, wide march. Good, swing the arms side to side. All right, we're gonna just start with a tap, a bob and weave, so we're gonna bend and tap. So we're bending those knees and we're tapping side to side. Good, bend the knees and tap. All right, so I did say this is a little bit of cardio kickboxing. Nothing to be intimidated about. We're gonna get those arms up. Good, so this is just kind of your fighting stance. So even if you can't do the legs, you can do the arms, right? Real easy. All right, we're gonna start with our first punch. We're just gonna jab it, jab. So jab is just a front punch, left and right. Good, jab front, jab. Remember, if you can't do the legs, I just want you to do the arms. You can do the arms in place. You can even do the arms seated. Good, just get that body moving. Four more, give me four, 
three, good. Two, one more set. Now we're gonna take it to a cross. So your cross, you're coming across the body, just like it sounds. Left arm and right. Keep breathing. Left and right and smile, all right. You got it. Left and right. Now if you want, you can rotate your hips, torso, and shoulders. You don't have to, but just bring those arms across. Four, three, two, one more set. All right, let's go back to that jab front, 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 front jab. Four, three, two, now cross. Good, bring those arms across. Four, three, two, jab front. So we're gonna learn in two punches, jab and cross, four more. Four, three, two, now cross. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jab front. You got it. Four, three, last time, cross. Four more. Four, three, two, bow, then we back to the front. All right, so we learned jab and cross. Next punch, we're gonna hook it. All right, so watch me, you're gonna hook, hook. So just like it sounds, hook those arms up, elbows up, left and right. That fist comes right in front of the face. Remember, keep those legs moving, but if you don't feel comfortable with the legs, just give me those arms. Hook. Hook. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Elbows up. All right. Next punch, we're going to uppercut. Up. So uppercut. Fist comes right in front of the face. Now elbows are down this time. We're just hooking it up. 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 Left and right. Four. Three. Two. Back to hook. Good job. Keep it going. Four, three, two, uppercut, up. Breathe in and out. Four, three, two, hook it. Four, three, two, uppercut. Four, three, back to hook. Four, three, two, uppercut. Four, three, all right, Bobby Lee. All right, so we've learned those four punches. That's all we're gonna need. We're gonna review them again. So everybody get ready, breathe in and out. Chest up. You can do just arms, remember. Get ready. All right, let's jab it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's cross. Remember, you can rotate if you want. Four, three, two, hook it. Did you remember that was next? <laughs> Good. Four, three, two, uppercut. We're gonna go through them again, so get ready in. Four, three, two, jab four. Four, three, two, cross it. Four, three, two, hook it. Uppercut. Four, three, I get jab front. Four, three, two, cross. Four, three, two, uppercut. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, now uppercut. Four, three, one more time, jab front. Cross. Hook. Uppercut. Four, three, Two, march it out. How'd you do with those punches? Good, all right. Keep breathing, grab some water if you need to. Everybody should be nice and warmed up. Got that heart rate up a little bit. Now we're gonna put those four punches together into some combinations. So this Lisa, is can you, you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you back yeah. up just a little bit more so we can see your feet as well? Can you see me now? Tiny bit more, and one more step back. Perfect, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Can you hear me okay? 
Yep. All right, so now we're gonna put those combinations together. All right, you ready? We're just gonna start with some knee lifts. Left, right. So all you have to do is lift your knee up, left and right. Draw that belly button into the spine, stand up nice and tall, left and right. You wanna lift straight from the hip. Remember, you don't have to go at my speed. If you wanna slow it down, you can. Lift the knees up. All right, so remember, we're putting together our combinations now. Eight, good. Seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, let's get those arms up. Two, one more set. All right, now let's take it to a kick. So with your kick, you're just kicking straight out in front. Now I want to say, if you don't feel comfortable with a kick, you can do a tap. Same concept. Kick it out or a tap. Same thing, I want you to lift straight from the hip. Stand up nice and tall, keep those arms nice and front. You got it, give me four, three, two, back to knees up. Keep breathing, you got it. Four, three, two, now kick. Four, three, two, knees up. Breathe, all right, now kick. Four, three, two, knees up. Now kick. Four, three, left out on. We're gonna squat it. Left and right. So your squat, you're gonna press your hips back and we're just stepping out to the side, bending the knees, keeping the chest and the arms up. Squat and in. So this is gonna build strength in our legs. Very important. You need leg strength for a lot of different things, getting out of a chair, walking, taking the stairs. Good. Now, you can make this as big or small as you want. So if you don't want to work so hard, you can just do a little step to the side. If you want to make it more challenging, really bend those knees and press the hips back. Left and right. Let's try four more. You got it, four. Then we're gonna put it all together. Three. You got it. Two. One more set. All right, knees up, knees up, left, right. Gotcha. Now kick. Four, three, two, squat it. Four, three, two. Knees up, again, knees up, four. Three, now kick. Four, three, two, squat it. Two more. Last time, knees up, knees up. Four, three, two, let's kick. Four, three, two, squat it. Two more. March it out, march it out. Good job, how'd you do that? was the first combination. Great job, all right. Keep breathing, grab some water if you need to, and we're moving forward. Swing those arms. All right, just give me a simple step touch. You're gonna step touch. So that's just a step touch left and right. That's it. Now, of course, you can always slow this down if you need to. I just want you to keep moving. Good job. All right, give me, give me two steps here. Two and two. Good, so it's a double step touch and a double. That's it. Two steps left and two steps right. You got it, two. All right, we're gonna add on to this. We're gonna step, then you're gonna cross. Two steps and across. Two, cross, two. Now remember, if you don't feel comfortable with the legs, just keep those arms moving. Two steps. Cross, two steps, cross. I think you got it. Now remember, you can rotate your hips, shoulders, and torso, but you don't have to. If you want, you can keep everything forward and just take that arm across. Two more like this. All right, get ready to add on. Now we're gonna do three crosses. Watch me, three, two, one. Two steps, three, two, one, two steps, three, two, keep going. 
three, two, one, two steps. Three, two, one, two steps. Three, two, one, two more times. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, march it out. How'd you do with that? Pretty good, all right, can we put that all together from the beginning? Just listen to me. If you feel uncomfortable, take a break. All right, breathe in and out. Nice and tall, we're starting from the beginning. Let's squat it. Good, squat. Two more. All right, knees up, left arm, knees up. Four, three, two, now kick. Four, three, two, squat it for four. Four, three, two, one more. Two steps, one cross. Two, one cross. Now three crosses. Three, two, one. Three crosses. Three, two, knees up. Four, three, two, now kick. Squat it for four, left and right. Two more. Two steps, one cross. Two steps, three crosses. Three, two, one. Three, two, knees up. Now kick. Squat it. Here we go. Left. Last side through. Two steps, one cross. Two steps, three crosses. Three, two. Again, three, two, march it out. All right, that was the first two combos. We only got one more to go. How are you doing? Right, grab that water. So exercising all about your own pace. Take plenty of breaks. Grab water if you need to, and just keep moving. So I want you to keep using those arms and legs. All right, we're going to take it back wide. And now back to the beginning. Remember, we did that bobby weave. Let's try it. Good. So remember, it's just tapping side to side. Get those arms up. You got it. All right. How about some more of those hooks? We're going to start left, right. So remember this. This is one of our punches that we learned. Left and right. Hooking it up. Elbows up. Fist up. Breathing in and out, staying strong. Remember, you can always just do the arms. All right, how about that uppercut? Up. Up. Elbows down, fist up, right in front of the face. Push, push. So this is familiar. Four, three, two, back to the hook. Four more hooks. Four, three, two, uppercut. Two more. Hook it for four. Four, three, two, upper cut. Four, three, two, hook it. Upper cut. All right, now we're just squatting it. Squat and lift. So hands up, press the heels down. Again, back to that strengthening for the legs. Down and up. Hips back, chest up, squat, and lift. Low as you want, or not deep, to protect those knees. If you have any pain in your knees, just give me a mini squat and up. Stay with me, squat and up. Let's try four more. Four, three, you got it. Two, one more, back to bottom of the Four. Three, two, how about those hooks? Four, three, two, uppercut. Four, three, squat in here, down and up. Keep breathing. Two more. Bottom and weave, here we go. Now hook. Uppercut. Four, three, two, how about four squats? 
down and up. Two more. Bottom weave. Look for four. Four, three, two. Upper cut, four. Four, three, two. Squat it down up. Two more. One more time through bottom weave. So that's all to this combo. Pretty easy, right? Now hook. Four, three, two, upper cut. Four squats. Four, three. Can we put it together from the beginning? Two. Knee lift. Left, right. Four, starting over. Now kick. Squat it left, right. Four, so more squats. Three, two, two steps, one cross. Now three crosses. Three, two, other side. Three, two, bottom weave. Now hook. Four, three, two, upper cup. Four, three, two, four squats. Two more. Knee lifts, left, right. Four, three, two, now kick. Squat left, right. Two more. Two steps, one cross. Three crosses. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, by the lead. Now hook it. Four, three, two, upper cut. Four squats. How are you doing? Two more. One more time through. Knee lifts, left, right. You can do it. This is it. Now kick. Squat it left, right. Almost to the end, two more squats. You remember what's next? Two steps, one cross. Now do three crosses. Three, two, other side. Three, bottom weave, here we go. Four, three, two, now up. Four, three, two, upper cut. Four, three, two, left squat. Two more. March it out, march it out. Woo, how we do? So that was three combinations we went through. That was really good, all right. So now we're gonna do a little bit more strength training, just body weight stuff, mainly focusing on the legs. So your legs are really, really tired. You can sit these exercises out. I want you to keep moving because we're gonna stop in a minute, do some strength, and then we'll finish up with, of course, some stretching. We can't forget our stretching. All right, doing good on time, everybody. Breathing in and out. Keep those legs moving. So remember, when you're exercising, you never want to come to a complete stop. You want to keep moving until your heart rate comes down. So if you stop right when you're at the height of your exercise, then of course you can even get dizzy or faint. So you always want to slowly get down, okay? A cool down is very, very important. All right, so we're just going to step touch. So just bringing that heart rate down before we stand still, okay? So real easy. Just a step touch. Good. All right, now can you give me a double step touch? Two. So this is just kind of like what we did in our exercise. Double step touch. Should feel good. Remember that scale of one to 10. So you shouldn't be a 10 or nine. You should be coming down that scale. Five or lower. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Five or lower. All right, back to march. March it out. So let's just start with some arms. We're going to take a deep breath in, arms up. We're going to shake, shake, down. Up, shake, shake, down, up, shake, shake, down, two more, shake, shake, one more, 
All right, so if you still feel your heart rate is up, I want you to keep marching. If you feel like it's come down, then we're gonna stand still and just do some lunges, all right? So I would say if you need a chair for balance, then you can have a chair right in front of you. Um, that helps if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel steady, having a chair helps. If you need to go get a chair, something sturdy that you can put in front of you to hold on to, you can. All right, so we're gonna start with just some nice and easy lunges, all right? We're gonna step our right foot forward and our left foot back, all right? So you should have a pretty good stance between your front and your back foot. All right, so um, the bigger the stance, of course, the harder these lunges are gonna be, and we're focusing on the back of the leg, I mean, the front of the leg, the quadricep. So I'm gonna take my, if you can see me on the back of the uh, leg, a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take my um, back heel off the floor, so I'm on the ball of my foot and my toe. So foot forward, and you're just gonna lunge down and up. So you're gonna bend your knees, go straight down, shoulders over the hips, nice and tall, down, and up, that's it. Now, of course, with this exercise, we're strengthening our legs. The further you go down, the harder, of course, it's gonna be. So this is your workout. I'm just your tour guide, remember? All right, so down and up. Let's do eight and lift. Seven, that back heel is off the floor. Six, build in the front part of the leg. Five, four, we're gonna hold the last one. Three, two, one more. Take it straight down and hold it. So feel that really working those quadriceps. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and lift. Good job. Shake it out. So you should feel that in the front part of the leg. Again, that's just a lunge down and out. Working on those quadriceps. Very important for leg strength. All right, so now we're going to switch sides. Again, have that chair in front of you if you need it for stability. Now we're going to do the left foot forward, right foot back. Our toes are facing forward. Same thing, you're going to take that back heel, peel it off the floor. So you're just on the ball of the foot and tone the back leg. If you need that chair, have it in front of you or to the side. Front foot is flat on the floor, shoulders over hips. Always do not want to compromise posture. Always standing up nice and tall. All right, you ready? We're gonna do another set on this side. All right, arms down to the side or to the chair. Down and lift. Down and lift. Make sure your knee does not go past your toe. If your knee goes past your toe in the front, that means you're coming too far down. Breathe it in and out. Down. You got it. Nice tall posture. Can we do eight more and hold the last one? Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, we're gonna hold this last one. Take it down and hold it. Good. Feel that burn in the quads. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's be done. Take it out. All right, so um, we talked about strength, cardio. We're going to move on um, to flexibility, but balance is also important. Of course, you know, as we age, um, sometimes we are more at a risk of fall, so it's very important to work on our balance. So we're just going to do a quick balance exercise. Um, so what we're going to do is my favorite balance exercise called heel toe. So if you don't feel comfortable with your balance, make sure that you're by a chair or something that you can hold on to. All right, real simple. I want you to take your left heel and bring it in front of your right toe. So you want a straight line with your front and your back foot. Now, if your heel is right on your toe, that's the hardest. If you can see I'm having trouble standing up. If your foot is a little bit forward, there's a little bit easier that line to base. So, depends on how you feel comfortable. Hold on to a chair if you need to. I want you to bring that heel directly on that toe. See how your balance changes? Drawing that belly button into the spine. Try to focus on something that's not going to move. Draw that belly button in. All right, now you have a holding on to the chair. See if you can take one hand off. See if you can take the other hand off. Can you reach your arms up? Can you reach it to the side? And can you reach it down? 
Very good. See how that you're challenging that core too as you're having to stay strong at work. Very good. All right, let's switch to the other side. All right, now you will notice that one side may be harder or easier than the other. That is totally normal. Most people have a dominant side and a weak side. All right, so now we're going to switch sides. If my right heel is coming directly up in front of my left toes, if I have it a little bit more forward, it's a little bit easier. If the heel is right on the toe, it's harder. So pick a level you feel comfortable with. Hold on to that tier if you need to. Draw that belly button into the spine, shoulders over hips, look straight ahead. Now, if you're holding on to the chair, see if you can let go of one hand. Only let go if you feel comfortable. How about letting go of that other hand? All right. Can you reach arms up? Shoulder down. Can we try it again? Up, shoulder, and down. Relax. Good job. All right. So that was a pretty basic balance exercise. I'm going to turn my music a little bit lower. Um, balance is very important. That sometimes we leave that out of exercise, but it's a good um, component of a good exercise program. So that tandem heel to toe stance is a good one. You can also try balancing on one foot. See how long you can balance on one foot. Most of the research says that you should be able to balance on one foot for at least 30 seconds. So that's something easy that you can work on every day. Just make sure that you have a chair or a counter to hold on to if you don't feel comfortable. But just lifting that foot up and just seeing how long you can hold it. You know, just do what we do with our arms, lifting the arms upside and down. That's something that you can do to help challenge your balance as well. Um, a progression of that is trying that same exercise with your eyes closed. So you don't have to do it now, but when you close your eyes, that takes away one of your senses, which challenges your balance as well. So if you try to balance on one foot with your eyes closed, see how much more challenging that is. So if you progress where the balance exercises are getting easier, Try that with your eyes closed, either the tandem stance or on one foot. So those are something really simple that you can do to add to your exercise program. All right, so now we're going to stretch and then we'll be done. All right, so we're just going to stretch out our major muscles. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see my legs. All right, I want you to put a slight bend in your left knee and I want you to dig your right heel into the floor right in front of you with your toes up. All right, now that left knee is bent, I want you to take your hands on your left thigh and I want you to lean forward at your waist. While that right leg is straight, and you're digging your heel into the floor, the toes up, hinge forward at your waist. Press your hips back, keep your chest up, hands on that thigh. You're going to feel that stretch from the back of the thigh to the back of the knee, and just hold that stretch. And then hamstring stretch here. Keep breathing in and exhaling out. All right, now slowly roll it up. Now we're going to switch to the other side. So we're going to put a slight bend in our right knee. We're going to dig that left heel into the floor right in front. Your toes are up. You're going to take your hands. You're going to put them on your right thigh. You're going to lean forward at your waist, press your hips back, and you're going to feel that stretch from the back of the thigh to the back of the knee. Hold it. All right, slowly roll it up, place both feet flat on the floor. Now we're gonna move to the upper body. We're gonna stretch out your chest first. So once you take your hand straight, hand straight behind you, fingers are gonna twine right behind your lower back. You're gonna press your chest forward, shoulders back, lift your head and chin. You're gonna open up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and you're gonna feel that stretch across your chest. Feels good. Now look straight ahead, bring your arms down to the side. Now you're going to bring your arms right in front. Your fingers are going to intertwine in front of your chest. You're going to put, I'm going to walk up so you see me a little bit better. You're going to push your palms forward, hunch your shoulders forward, drop your chin to your chest. As you do that, you're going to round your back forward, shoulders forward, rounding your back and separating your shoulder blades from each other. Dropping that chin to the chest, feeling that stretch across the upper back. Now look up, look straight ahead. All right, next we're gonna stretch out the triceps. So you're gonna take your right arm straight up, place your palm on your upper back. Now only to where you feel comfortable. And if you can, take your left hand and just kind of push that arm up a little bit. You're gonna feel the stretch in the back of the arm, the tricep. You can hold on to that elbow or just hold on to the back of the arm. All 
All right, let's switch. Now, left arm goes straight up, palm on the upper back. Take your right hand, you can hold that, push that arm up, or you can hold on to the elbow. All right, arms down to the side. Now we're gonna stretch out your shoulders. I want you to take your right arm straight across your chest. Just take it across, kind of like we did that cross punch. Now take your left hand and just pull that arm in. So you can pull on the forearm or hold on to the shoulder. Feel that stretch in that right shoulder. And switch, opposite arm across, left arm across, pull it in with the right. Remember, pull on that arm or hold lightly onto the shoulder. And relax your arms down to the side. Last stretch, we're gonna stretch out our neck. All we're gonna do is take our left ear to our left shoulder, keeping the shoulders down, ear to the shoulder. Hold that stretch feeling it in the right side of our necks. Feels good. All right, head back to center. Now we're gonna take our right ear to our right shoulder, keeping the shoulders down. Feel the stretch in the left side of our neck. Lift your head up, nice and slow. Take a deep breath in and lift. Exhale, slowly lower the arms down. One more time, deep breath in and lift. Exhale, lower. Very, very good job, everybody. So you did very good. You did pretty much all your components of a good exercise program. We did cardio, we did strength, we did even balance and stretching. So when you're looking for a good car, exercise program, you know, those are the, the pretty much four components. That's a very well-rounded exercise program. So does anybody have any questions for me? Maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Any questions? Let me turn off my music. Any questions? Melissa, just we've got some thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, great workout. Didn't know how out of shape I was since. <laughs> um, thank you. It's certainly what I needed. Um, it was really nice. Thank you. Awesome. Lots of great comments. Oh, yay. And I appreciate you being here today. Um, and it says, do you have any? Um, any thoughts about chair exercise options um, or modifications like that that you maybe could share or something like that and we could send it out? Yeah, so um, good chair exercises, of course, like I said before, pretty much all the punching, you can do that seated in a chair. If you're moving your arms, you're still getting your heart rate up. So that could be a good option. There's a lot of chair yoga classes that are really good. Um, if you go on YouTube and type in um, chair exercises, there are a lot of good um, cardio as far as like you can do punches in the chair, you can do marching in the chair. There's a lot of good strength training um, in the chair. Um, we actually, the fitness center here at High Point actually has a Facebook page. Um, if you go to Facebook and type in um, the High Wake Forest Baptist Health um, the fitness center, um, you'll find we have our own Facebook page and we have a ton of chair exercises classes. I have a chair yoga one on there. There's a chair strength one on there. Um, so if you want, that could be a good resource, but anything that you can do, even if you can't get out of the chair, sitting and doing your arms and even marching, doing the leg stuff in the chair, you can do that as well. And that's still getting a good uh, workout as well, getting your heart rate up. One of our physicians is, is asking if you have classes on a regular basis that um, that um, patients or caregivers could could do like right now during COVID and then right. um, go ahead. Oh, no, that's what I was going to say. So um, at least once or twice a week on our Facebook page, we have an exercise class that you can participate in. Um, and also, you know, all those classes that we do live, they're logged into our database. So if you go to our Facebook page, um, you will see all the exercise classes. I have a ton of cardio classes, just like I did. Probably have 10 plus, and I, mean, I do a kickboxing one. I do a low impact aerobic one. Um, we have chair ones. Um, 
and hopefully maybe in the future we'll just keep doing those if you guys have any suggestions um, I'll talk to Lindy and Anna and kind of see maybe you know we can do another format where you know I can do a cardio class but we do have a log of those on the fitness center at High Point Weight Forest Baptist Health uh, Facebook page. And what about if you don't have Facebook are any of your videos on YouTube or do you have a YouTube? No. They're not on YouTube, but that's something that I can look into putting them on YouTube. I think I, I just got to talk to our, our marketing department, um, but then I can talk to you, Lindy and Anna afterwards and see if there's anything that I can maybe save our, um, save a lot of my cardio stuff and um, get it to you guys um, to, to um, distribute out as well. Yeah, we have, a, we have a YouTube channel. We can see oh, okay. some of the recordings or things on our YouTube okay. channel, which would certainly be easy for um, any of our clients to get to. Okay. Um, and um, let's see if there's other ones I'll look at. Uh, another, that was great. Thank you so much for encouraging us to all work at our own pace. Um, so that's that was really good. Um, the Facebook page tell me again how it's listed and i'm going to put it in the comment section hold on so it should be listed at the fitness center at high point medical center um so if you go to high point medical center and it's the fitness center uh if you I search that it should come up um, and then when you go to our videos, you'll see a whole library of videos and they should be titled. You'll see me on there. Um, the main ones that I do are the cardiovascular ones, but the staff, the rest of the staff does a whole bunch as well. Yep, that's it. The Fitness Center at High Point Medical Center, correct. That's it. Great, great. That's awesome. Um, well, we can't thank you enough for being with us today, Melissa. This has been great. Um, so we, um, we're we about to run out of time and we want to honor everyone's time. So thank you so much for your questions um, that people have submitted. I hope you all enjoy the workout. What a wonderful way to start our Monday. Um, thank you all for participating. And remember that tomorrow, we will look forward to welcoming speakers from Novant Health Cancer Center and Novant Integrative Medicine. That session will be hosted by our very own Felicia Dobson, one of our patient advocates, and it will begin at noon, 12 o'clock noon. Don't forget to submit your photos, and we hope to see you all tomorrow. Thanks, and take care and stay safe. Bye, everybody. Thank you.